Dear brothers and sisters, we welcome you to the community of Risen Christ. Uh, in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Today we are going to reflect on God's glory in a dark world. Let us begin with the scripture James 3, 5 to 6. The tongue is a small thing, but what enormous damage it can do. A great forest can be set on fire by one tiny spark, and the tongue can turn our whole lives into a blazing flame of destruction and disaster. James chapter 3 verse 5 to 6. When we lack self-control, we are vulnerable to all kinds of problems. Anything out of control in your life can harm other people and damage your close relationships. Uncontrolled anger, lust, addiction, spending, drinking or ambition can create enormous problems. But the great test destroyer of relationships is an uncontrolled tongue. That we know that an average person, an average person has about 30 conversations a day. Now that was before pandemic quarantine. But if it is true, that would mean we spend around one-fifth of our lives talking. So at some point, your mouth will probably get you into trouble. That is, the odds are against you. James compares the tongue to a tiny spark because that's all that is needed to create a great forest fire. A careless word can ignite your relationships and make them all go up in smoke. Have you ever met a verbal arsonist? Their words are dangerous. They use words of discouragement, disappointment, accusation, criticism, sarcasm, condemnation or attack. And the list is endless. And the worst of that is gossip. That is especially destructive because gossip spreads like an airborne virus. Careless words have destroyed careers, friendships, families. Now, instead of heading in that destructive direction, you can choose your words to build others up. Affirm the character when people make difficult decisions. Because that is what a child of God does. When you catch people doing something right, Tell them about it. Lift them up with words of encouragement. Dear brothers, dear sisters, dear friends, youngsters and children, building others up with your words is not at all difficult. But in the world that we live in, it is uncommon, not common. You reflect God's glory in a dark world when you control your mouth and build others up. And before we conclude this wonderful talk and the directive from James chapter 3, 5 to 6, we ask one question. Why is gossip so destructive? 
go through this video once again and plan an exit strategy. Take a decision today to avoid gossiping and to avoid participating in any gossip. Remember, build others at all times and it is easy. In the name of the Father, Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.